Yesterday, you posted a video, the origins of which CBS cannot confirm, claiming Africans are grilling cats in Dayton. Hayden's not Africa, Dayton's not Springfield, but putting all that aside, what is your intent in furthering the focus on these people? You're not talking about how to surge federal funds to help with safety, hospitals, and schools. You're talking about this. Margaret, is your argument really that it's a huge difference if migrants are grilling cats 20 miles away from Springfield rather than downtown Springfield? And would it change if the video was 20 miles closer to where these things allegedly occurred? My point here is that the American media ignores these stories. Everybody who has dealt with a large influx of migration knows that sometimes there are cultural practices that seem very far out there to a lot of Americans. Are we not allowed to talk about this in the United States of America, Margaret, because the American media is more interested in fact-checking innocent people who are begging for relief than they are in investigating some of these claims? I'm going to talk about what my constituents are sending me. That video was actually filmed by a constituent. That video was filmed by a, a person who was worried about what's going on in these communities. I'm going to talk about it because that's what I need to do as the United States Senator for Ohio is represent Ohio and actually make sure that people's concerns get their voice. Again, as a representative of Ohio, these are officials from Ohio, including the Dayton police chief, who said that there is no evidence of what you just claimed as being verifiable or true. Um, CBS confirmed, we, on September 9th, you amplified what you said yourself were rumors about Haitian migrants eating pets. Donald Trump then claimed those were facts, and he repeated them to 67 million people on the debate stage this past week. In Springfield yesterday, two hospitals went into lockdown after police were alerted to a bomb threat. On Friday, two elementary schools, one middle school, were evacuated. Thursday, an elementary school was also evacuated, and Springfield City Hall had to evacuate due to a bomb threat made by someone who said they were concerned about immigration. These false claims are endangering your constituents. Do you regret your words? Well, Margaret, first of all, we condemn all violence and condemn all threats of violence. I want whoever made these threats to be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. But we don't believe, Margaret, in a heckler's veto in this country. You can condemn violence on the one hand while also saying that there have been terrible problems caused by Kamala Harris's open border in Springfield. Now, you said that these are false rumors. Well, I've heard about a dozen things from my constituents in Springfield, Ohio. Ten of them are verifiable and confirmable. A couple of them we have direct firsthand accounts of, for example, migrants abducting geese at the local park and slaughtering them and eating them. Now, maybe all of these constituents are lying to me, but I would appreciate if the American media showed up and did some real investigation rather than amplifying the worst people in the world. Why is somebody yeah. calling it a bomb threat, Margaret? It's because they want attention. I think that we should ignore these ridiculous psychopaths who are threatening violence on a small Ohio town and focus on the fact that we have a vice president who's not doing her job in protecting that small Ohio town. Okay.